Hey guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see CI/CD pipeline using AWS. So there are multiple ways to build your application and deploy on a server. From that, like uh, AWS provides multiple services to do that. So in this video, we are going to see one of the way to do continuous integration and continuous deployment. So in this, what we are going to do, we are creating one Spring Boot microservice, simple microservice, and that we are going to push into our GitHub. So that Spring Boot service contains a Docker, Docker file, which will help us to build our application in a containerized format. So we will be creating, building our application and creating a Docker image from that. Then we are going to, going to build our application using AWS code build, okay? So once that steps get complete, we will be deploying that built image, Docker built image on our ECR, Elastic Container Registry. And from that, we will be deploying our application on ECS using code deploy, okay? So this is a simple uh, flow which I have mentioned. We will be going to DC in detail one step by step. So let's jump to our first step that is creating microservice. So I have created a Docker, Spring Boot Docker, where I have added the Spring Web dependency and from that I have created a simple microservice. So I want to show you, this is my simple Spring Web application which contains our Halo controller. So in this controller, just I have added two entry point one is hello and one is a default. When our application runs our base URL, that time this sample web application will be showing, okay? Now I have started this application. I want to show you how that endpoint looks, okay? If I, my application currently is running on 8080. If I hit, it is showing sample web application. If I say hello, it will say hello ninja. So these are the two simple endpoints I have created in Spring Boot application. Now let's jump to the our next step where we will be building our application using code build, okay? So let's create a code build project. Sample web or Spring, let's keep as a sample, sample web. So here like uh, resources, we are taking this from the github so already like i have communicated uh, i have authenticated my github with aws so that's why it is showing disconnect from the github if you are not connected you have to connect that and then you try to search your application so i have to sp search spring boot spring docker okay so i have created i selected this as a GitHub repository. Now coming to town. So I am selecting managed image from this. I am taking the latest one. I am selecting Amazon Linux standard and always the run latest version. Okay. So below, if you want to pass some variables to this application, you can pass this from here. Okay. We are selecting a role name okay so here like i am selecting code build sample web service role this is role which automatically gets created okay now coming to the build okay here this this is the steps which will be pulling the data and will be used to build our application okay so here like i am you can insert directly that command or you can use a build spec file okay this build specs file will be put into your application's root directory. So if I want to show you, we have two files. One is Docker file, which contains Docker simple like here, like we are telling, take the Java 17, then create our sample web and put it into the app.jar and entry point will be app.jar. Another file, which is build spec YML. So this contains multiple things. First, it is it will build our application. Then it is logging to ECR to push our changes. Then it is taking the repository where our file will be 
where our image will be pushed okay then uh, then this is a image tag which will be used to tag that image now once you you log into the ECR the next step is to build the docker image and push into the ECR so this will be the building a docker image so docker build repository URL and in that we will be putting latest as a tag so docker tag repository this will be tag for your file then second once you build we have to push that image so we are pushing docker push the repository URL and here we are passing the latest okay now so if you see here like here some variables are there which we have to define our or less let's say like we have to define repository then image tag and all those things now here some more some more variables are there which are like a default region then account id so this information we have to pass okay so for this i am copying this and i am clicking here additional additional configuration where we have if you come below we have environment variable names okay so which we can give as a so if you default region what is your default region so you can take that as a here from here you can take u north okay plain text this now add one more one more variable that will be your aws account id okay so i am copying this putting here and this will be my aws account id so if i click here copy and paste it here okay now we have added build spec yml file into our repository that's why that will be a default one now if you come down come down there is nothing okay so we will be like a, we will keep remaining thing as it is and just click on create build project okay so what it is telling it is telling to something select okay a role does already exist the service role name already exists let's say give it as a one okay create build project okay now we have created sample build project so if you see it is located it is repository it is pointing to the spring docker and this is a github now let's click here and build this project okay so let me click here start building this project so now this will build project build your application and put it into the ecr okay guys it got failed let's check why this is this has been failed authorization okay get authorization so where is the actual error access denied okay so access denied uh, is coming that means like a for our role we don't have the permission so let me close this i am coming here so this is my service role okay attach policy container registry and power user and power user okay these are the two two important roles we have to assign okay so i have assigned this okay this has been updated let's start build once again okay guys so our application has been built successfully so in this important is like uh, how you created your build spec yml and what are the permissions you have given while building this application now if i'm i'm going to ecr okay where our all images will be stored so this was like a first image it, it was stored when i built this application first time now i'm going to refresh it so another image is has been created on a two days date okay now second step is like our deployment okay ci has been done now cd will be we will be checking so for cd like as i as i told earlier we will be using code deploy okay so using code deploy 
we will be deploying this application into our into our ECR. Okay, so let's say this is the if I click here, this is my image URL. Okay, this image I want to deploy on our ECR. So now go to now go to the ECR. Let me copy ECS. So now we will be deploying our application on ECS. In ECS, there are two main important things. One is like you have to create a cluster, and on that cluster, you will be deploying your task. What is meant by task? Task will be telling this this image I have to deploy on deploy. So for that, you have to create the your task, and then task you have to deploy on our cluster. So first, we will be creating our task. Now I am going to show you from scratch. Create new task test definition. Or we will call it as a deploy spring boot. Okay. Here we will be selecting this as AWS forget. Okay. Because all this will be taken care by forget only AWS forget. Okay. So here I am selecting Linux. Okay. Which is a Linux 64 CPU. I am using this as a so this is create new role. Okay. Now I'm coming down here like I will be telling my Spring Boot app and I am going to give this image URL okay so this image I am going to deploy now with the here uh, TCP 80 is there I'm going to add URL so let's say let's say like container 8080 I'm adding okay add one more mapping 8080 so here 80 80 I am adding like we can add the HTTP okay now remaining things I am keeping as it is environment variable I am not passing I am not passing while remaining thing as it is I am keeping AWS log group this will be deploying on this we can check the logs under ECS deploy spring boot okay uh, sorry CloudWatch under CloudWatch this will be a ECS deploy spring boot will be group ID okay so now I am keeping as it is everything then going to click create task okay so deploy spring boot that is, is okay use hyphen here fail to specify member must specify a regular expression pattern uh, what is uppercase and lowercase let me click lowercase deploy that error I have uh, searched and uh, yeah, I found that like uh, if I open this task okay so in this task like uh, I was having same configuration of the port already exist okay so that's why like i removed that port uh and now like i i created the task okay so now this task i have to deploy on our cluster so here we can have a deploy where we can create the service and we can deploy this service on our cluster or else like how you can go into the cluster and create the cluster and from that cluster you can deploy the service okay let's say like i am creating cluster spring boot cluster okay so forget i am keeping as it is tags nothing i am have changed and i am going to click a create so my cluster is go going to create it will take some time once that get created we will deploy our task on that cluster okay okay our cluster has been created now let me click here so services are there let's create one service okay capacity provider strategy i am keeping as it is then custom advanced i am keeping as a forget base one base zero and wait one okay platform will be latest service and from here like it we are going to select the task okay so
so revision latest one service name spring boot service okay replica i am creating desired desired task one okay service turn off service connect a remaining like i am not adding load balancing so i am keeping as it is okay so let's go and click on create okay so this service has been created okay it is creating that means like it is deploying our task on our cluster so it will be taking time service is draining so guys finally our service has been service has been started and our task has been deployed on on our cluster so if you see this is our spring boot cluster let me click here under spring boot cluster we have our spring boot service if you click here our service has been started okay it is active and it is started now under this service we are having our task okay so if you click on task it is showing that our task is running okay so now under this task we know that like uh, our <coughs> our spring boot application is running so i am going to click on that task so all the information about task is is mentioned here okay so let let me open that task okay so guys like uh, this is our public ip if you click on this public ip we will be op opening our application so if i click it is showing me site site cannot be reached okay so sometimes like we know that while creating our application so we are exposed our spring boot application running on the docker that is on 8080 so i am going to add 8080 80 in front of this okay so if i do this my sample app where application is running that means we have successfully deployed our spring boot application on a ecs okay so sometimes you guys find like even you give 8080 your application will be scrap your screen will be skip loading and you will not able to hit the your application in that case i want to suggest you guys just go to your like a uh, security okay so i am clicking on my task okay and if you click here here configuration and networking is there okay so in that like you will be seeing all your information and if you scroll down security group is the one option you will see okay if you click here that means like what from which ip traffic will be come to your service or from your service where you will be calling the where which ip you will be calling so that information we are stored into the security group so here inbound rules are there outbound rules are there so in that basically first it was only one only one rule was like ip and all traffic protocol all these things was there so below one i have added so if you click here edit okay let's say new newly added so under inbound inbound rules i have added this new new rule in which i am telling that ip version will be ipv4 type will be all tcp protocol will be tcp and port range will be 0 to 65535 okay and sources will be all that means currently it is allowing you to hit from any api to your application so if you if you want to add some rules you can add those rules like uh, you can add uh edit inbound rules and in that you can add a rule so this is it guys like from in this tutorial we have seen from scratch how to create the microservice and how to deploy that on aws using ci cd of aws okay if you like this video please share with your friends and 
सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल